So, I recently uploaded a video called Watch This or You'll Die. Watch this before you give up, change your life. It was a motivational short that I created with a friend of mine. And you guys smashed it with the support. You guys absolutely love the video, which is epic. And there has been an insanely high demand for my editing skills tutorial. How do I create my videos? What is the editing software? How did I make this, edit, that? So I thought, let's just break down this video and work my magic. Welcome in Premiere Pro, that's where I add in. I use Adobe softwares. I have been adding for quite a few years, but I've been using Adobe software since the beginning of this year. So I've been adding in this for like eight months right now. Um, it's uh, It's been going fairly well. But the video is around four minutes long, so if you haven't seen the video, make sure you check it out and then come back to this video and uh, and enjoy it. You will love the video, you will love this video. Let, let's get right into it. First, let me pull this up. This, this is an email I received from Aryan, the guy I created a video with. And this is basically the entire storyline, the entire voiceover text that, that he sent me. I write all my videos if there needs to be written anything, vlogs or anything epic like where I try in Ninja Warrior course. I mean, there's no writing there, maybe some points that I, I want to discuss or want to talk or want to test out. But for this video, Arin has written like 90% of it. I, th this is 100% his work. Then we're putting it in a Google Documents thing and then it looks like this. What I do here is I sort of divide it into pieces, into scenes basically, and just make the storyline flow a little bit better overall and add some things. And I actually did that together with Arin as well. That package. What the hell? I know this one. I know this. Okay, so I definitely opened this the wrong way. It's a lot of dust. I definitely opened this the wrong way. But that's some uh, some more Forge London. This wasn't planned. Golden flip coin. Epic. Forge London. I actually didn't have the uh, the gold one myself yet, so... Yeah. Uh, it's upside down, no. Basically, fine tune it in here, and then I give everything a color, as you can see. There's blue, there's purple, there's gray, there's, there's yellow, green. And then some red later on because of the storyline. This is around the bed shot. This is the desk shot, workout shot, kitchen, front door, and bathroom. Because with this, with the text here and the storyline, cool. But we don't have any shots. There's nothing to record. You, you can't just like go go. Okay, here's the here's the text. Just record something. No. And everything that is selected individually is an individual shot that I have in my head. And, and that I want to pull off. Actually a lot to remember, but for some reason it was, I, yeah, that's how I work. Drink the water. But a lot of the time when we are recording, we come out with new shots or additional shots or shots we can choose from after in the editing. And a, that, that's basically how we work. We have done this for every single shot. I think this took an hour. So the editing, you've seen the video, so let's just break it down. Every single scene that I think is worth breaking down. Okay, so first shot. It all starts with a buzz. Basically, this scene was the intro of the introducing iPhone 11, Apple, sort of recreation, sort of, I don't know. This was obviously a lot better, but they have it like a budget of a few million and we just have like a camera guy with one camera and yeah. But I'd seen this shot and like a week later, Arjen came with the ID for this new video and had written a, a, a bit already. And I just linked the two things together because the first sentence of our video is it all begins with a buzz, an alarm going off, and then this shot. So it was, it was easy. So I was like, yeah, let's recreate this and let's see how it goes and well. So this is the timeline and everything that's green here are sound effects or music and some of the blue parts here, that's just audio, original audio of the clips that we recorded. I use it for background noises or for sound effects. Effects. I'm a bit sick today, by the way, so um, sorry about that. So I'm gonna mute the music for now so you can hear the sound effects a little better because a lot of work went into that, obviously. You get up out of bed, get ready, brush your teeth, eat some breakfast, Grab your cup of coffee, and then you go to school. After a long day of studying, you finally come home and... Okay, so for this sequence, it obviously starts with the uh, the sheets. Actually, a lot is happening here, and you may not notice, which is actually the ultimate goal, because the less you notice, the smoother it is. So let's break it down. The original shot, frame by frame, this is just done with masking. 
these green clips are nested sequences. When you double click them, you go to a new sequence, new timeline basically, and here you can see what's happening. Uh, this is color grade obviously, so that's this one. And here you can see the masking. The masking is basically done, let's just get rid of that. It's basically just following the sheets and masking that out. Fed it a bit out so it doesn't look as sharp, which wouldn't look as good because it looks like a, there's some motion blur right now. So that's what's happening in the green part right there to make it a little bit smoother. Mm. And what I add, you will see this more often, is this adjustment layer with basically a directional blur, which is uh, doing this. Let me go to a frame where you can see it. Basically adding some motion blur, or it looks like there's some motion blur. And the transform look, this one is basically zooming in and out real quick. Why? Because if I get rid of that, it looks like this. You can see here the edge pixels are gone because it's uh, it's blurring them out. So it's smearing them basically over the screen and they're basically gone. They're black right now. Um, so you can fix that by zooming in a little bit in and out real quick uh, on the same keyframes basically as you can see here. Something else in this sequence and basically for every single sequence, but I will talk about it this one time. Color grading, I used to color grade just like I was like, all right, I'm gonna do this, this looks good. Now I had more of a a professional approach to it, uh, watched some tutorials on it and actually learned a lot in the past like weeks, but this is shot before, shot after, and I've done this for every shot individually, which took a lot of time, but was worth it in the end, I guess. You guys are still killing it with the support, so uh, let's hope it hits 100 views, 100 views, yeah, 100 views. Let's hope it hits 100,000 views and let me just drink my water. So that took a lot of time, but that's for every single sequence, every single shot, but yeah. Now the outdoor shot. Walking away, you hear that, you hear the keys a little bit, but I'll be talking about sound effects at the end of the video. This part was just done with color grading, just adding and subtracting certain things like exposure and stuff like that. Highlights mainly, white shadows, blacks, as you can see here, the tint, I changed a little bit because I mean the time of the day changes. Because this is morning and this is somewhat later in the afternoon or something, so that's why this shot right here is darker, it is a little bit more bluish, and then when you go a like few seconds back, it is a little bit more sunny and a little bit more orange. And in between I made everything a little brighter so you can see sort of the day going by real fast because it gets a little bit brighter at the uh, peak of the day or whatever. Could have been better, could have added a lot more, but I just simply didn't have the time for that. Next sequence. Go upstairs and take a minute to relax a bit. But then you realize you forgot about the deadlines you have the next day. No way. And that means you have a lot of work to do, but I mean a lot of work. So there is only one option and that is getting back to work. Fuck. One continuous shot made on this thing right here. A DJI Ronin S crane stabilizer, whatever you want to call it. Color grading this was a bit hard because I really liked the shot a little bit more bright, but because of the last scene, it was a bit darker, so this one had to be a bit darker as well to fit the entire scene, the entire sequence. And I wanted to properly show the light, the phone reflects on his face. So, I mean, it, it worked out sort of, but one continuous shot. I think we have like 10 to 15 takes of this one to get a ride or to just get one ride because we wanted it to fit the narration, my voiceover, uh, because of this. No way. And this. Work. Fuck. Yeah. And this was the best one and it still didn't have the proper speed. So as you can see here, this yellow icon, I uh, I speed rammed it. In the beginning it is going 115% and then I let it go slowly into 75% and right before I say something because the mouth has to like properly move with the voiceover, I let it go real time at the end, almost real time at 97% and then Fuck. Yeah, end up Next sequence! You end up doing five hours of non-stop reading stuff and writing essays and stuff like that and you realize you're still on page 17. You'd also plan to do a workout that day because that's something you really like, but you feel tired of all the work and when you take a look at the clock, you notice that a lot of time has passed and that you really need to go to bed. Okay, so this shot, this first shot, also a continuous shot, at least that that's what it was meant to be, but a lot of speed ramping done here as well as I just showed you. And something else interesting, what I did was edit a transform effect and let me toggle that off real quick. This is the, the real shot, the real width of the shot, but I didn't like the fact that this was supposed to be evening or almost evening or whatever. Yeah, it should be evening because he's going to bed. But this was way too bright, so I had to zoom in but then slowly zoom out until we really 
got to the right width you can still see a little bit of the brightness there but it didn't really matter because i mean it's a youtube video but it also gives this cool effect where you see the the walls warp and stuff like that so this shot was also slowed down a lot and then smoothly went to 77 percent and then this happened same thing as with the other shot i masked it i added that other thing the blur and also and also a nested sequence so i could properly mask it out also an insane amount of takes of this one this is the right one he puts it on the camera you can hear it real real bam <laughs> i need to go to bed what's happening there Plenty. Nested sequence, nested sequence, nested. There's a warp stabilizer on here. Also warp stabilized. Normal shot. You can also see something coming in the screen here. This is, I think, my, my external screen. But because of the warp stabilizer, the shot looked a lot smoother. And it already just got rid of the, uh, well, I think I changed the bit. Changed the position a bit, but it, it made the shot a lot smoother. A little bit of a fade here, so it looked like this. Continuous movement sort of and then this Can you see that I don't think a lot of people saw that I probably should have let it go for a little bit longer But I mean like I said I did have a lot of time. This is an individual light. I Let I I keyframed that out So you would the last thing you would see was uh was the light next sequence the next morning your alarm goes off you snooze a few times and then you're late Fuck. You skip the breakfast, you skip the coffee, and you rush to school. You were late. You come back, study for way too long again, and go to bed tired. Alarm goes off, wake up tired, skip breakfast, go to school, study for way too long, go to bed tired, and so on. Basically everything is repeating itself for Aryan. Aryan is the actor as well in this video and fun fact Aryan wrote this so accurately or so relatable actually because this is mainly his life right now He based it on his his life another pretty cool alarm shot grabbing the phone just a regular shot then this this shot and you're oh, late Fuck epic. I love it. I love this shot one of my favorite shots another nested sequence Can okay, maybe spot what I did you, you probably can Added some stabilization. Let's toggle this off. This is what it looks like without stabilization. With. Just a bit smoother in particular for a few frames when I'm almost like there. I'm moving a lot there. This was pretty easy to match. Fuck. Shot. Shot. Same thing here. Added the same effect and this is a proper example of just freestyling it while we're just shooting because this was just improv For way too Zooming long Zooming in in a mirror and boom and Basically, this is the mirror Walking towards it and boom There is he sitting Pretty epic shot, pretty basic Color grading again in this one It isn't really selling the effect that it's really late But I mean Again, it could be the time of the year and it could be a bit bit light out. I, it, it could be it could be everything. This shot. What we did was we shot this shot first. So it was light, curtains open, put a tripod besides him and one of the legs on his chest, basically. I think this is part of the tripod as well. Have him act out this scene, close all the curtains, change a bit of the lighting, and bam, you have this shot in the exact same position so you can add a little bit of this. Alarm goes off. And it was pretty epic. And that was literally improv. We freestyled. I was like, okay, okay, you, you need to lay down there. And and I, I think Aryan didn't really understand the shot. Like you can maybe see a little bit of a dent here, but this is exactly the place where one of the tripod's legs was on. And when we removed it, the camera is quite heavy, this one, or the lens is. Um, so it was it made an entire dent and I was like, damn man, why didn't you tell me like it, it, it hurt or whatever? He's like, nah. It was worth it, right, Aryan? <laughs> shot, shot. Uh, shot, shot, and so on. Just a cool montage with some sound effects. Next sequence. One day you come home from school again and now you're not just feeling tired, you're feeling like you've just participated in a no sleep experiment for seven days. You go upstairs, lie down and you want to take a nap, but then, just before you close your eyes, you notice a little note in your nightstand. You grab it. No, that's the receipt from the bongos you bought because your crush said you liked bongos, but it turned out you didn't like bongos. Yes, that's the right one. 
First shot also recorded on this thing, but I don't really like it. I like the movement, but I don't really like the lighting and I, I meh. That was also pure improv. Days. Boom. <laughs> I threw it pretty hard actually, and it was uh, it was cool. It was a good improv. Thanks, Arian. Up the stairs, pretty epic shot as well. Shot also a pretty normal shot, but what I like about it, I actually really like it, is I added a mask. Where is it? I add a little bit of this to uh, make the uh, the receipt pop a little bit more, and when he removes it, it is still there. But then I mean, it, it aims at the uh, the real uh, note that he wrote. Grabs it and then grabs it with two hands, and then the next shot. He has it in one hand. So I had to cut it off early list of so the, the motion wasn't smooth at all. But I mean, I couldn't do anything. I didn't have any extra uh, footage of that with him just holding it with one arm. But the sequence is all right, especially for YouTube. So I mean, all right. The bongos joke was one of those things that we fine tuned here. Uh, I think there was something else or I wanted to add something something funny. I wanted to add something a little bit more. It was get, it was getting a little bit too serious. Yeah, it was a bit too much, I'd say. Too much of the serious stuff. And we were thinking for a minute and I literally said what I say here. See from the bongos you bought because you crushed it, you like bongos, but it turned out you didn't like bongos. I, I just said that like in one line and he was like, yeah. And I still love it, so I'm really glad it's in there. And some of you guys really liked it as well. You grab it. No, that's the receipt from the bongos you bought because you crushed that you like bongos, but it turned out you didn't. Great joke. Also added that mask that I talked about, the lighter mask. I added that oh here. Basically everywhere where the uh, the node is, I added the lighter mask. Now you're saving up enough time and energy for your workouts. You start using a schedule. You write down all your classes, your deadlines, appointments, everything. Based on your schedule, you can now fit in your workouts. Hell yeah. And I actually got questions about this effect uh, individually, so I mean, let's break it down real quick. Just a left to right moving shot recorded on this thing as well. Into another shot recorded on that thing as well. Into another shot recording on that thing as well. Reveal and project. This is the original shot. Just left. To right. Added that on top of the left to right shot in the beginning and then added a left to right shot again below the other one and then you get basically the same effect but but this shot you may have noticed uh, the swiping doesn't make any sense. Deadlines, appointments, everything. It's because it's in reverse uh, because I wanted the left to right motion to you know be smooth and fit with everything but I didn't have a left to right of the schedule thing. So I had to reverse it and make it into this. I don't care. <laughs> Pretty easy shot, but really epic because of, again, this thing. Next sequence. Alarm goes off. Now you wake up with a purpose. You look at your to-do list that you've made and you get to work. Alarm shot, wake up shot. We actually wanted to do something different following him getting up but that was just way too high end and i think we could have pulled it off with this thing um or something else but i mean not enough time again the mask it's time for a workout you start to create a habit a routine you actually start learning more and you actually finish stuff on time and you learn how to handstand you learn how to front lever how to muscle up and you can even planche no, of course not. A plunge takes years and years of daily training and you will never get it. This roll thing made with this. Also, as you can see here, there is a green effects thing there. I added some warp stabilization and actually did a really decent job. And yet another directional blur and a little bit zoom in, zoom out action to... Uh, as you can see and you learn how to... Ha okay, cool. Another whoosh. Front lever, epic over the shoulder shot. Another directional blur, zoom in thing, as you can see here. And you whoosh. learn... So it just like flows a little bit better and I use that for every single whoosh to make it flow better and these are really easy to do actually the uh, whoosh but I mean I like to give it a little bit of an extra thing as you can see here I do I have to front I, I sort of like drop the camera I give it that effect I really like that um, front didn't left. do that for the other ones because I wanted to go that a little bit faster for how to muscle up boom and this shot was pretty funny because I mean at first you don't really see the bands there I mean if you yeah took a few takes but now the last sequence the last scene dang and I'm gonna play that in full right now you take a look back in your memories and realize how far you've come all the schedules all the to-do lists the weekly workouts they all add up to this that feeling the feeling of satisfaction 
and that that motivates me to go even further. This shot took way longer than it should have. Like first off, it took like two hours, uh, which is crazy. If you want to recreate this, and it, it probably takes you like 15 minutes. This is one of the few shots that's done in Adobe After Effects. Here we are in After Effects, and what I basically did is I tracked the shot, uh, then you get all these points here. You don't need to know like an insane amount, but simply said, you just track points and you can add something to it, and you can say, yo, let's uh, create a solid, and, uh, and I, there's already a camera, so that's there. But when I do this now, it just follows that, right? I tracked it so it can stick to that. Well, fairly easy then if you want to add the cloud and stuff like that finding what what I wanted what I what I thought looked good uh, That took a while that took like 30 to 45 minutes Maybe even an hour to like fine-tune everything how I liked it because as you can see I added some extra uh, Like orange yellow ish look so it looked a little bit heaven ish or whatever uh, and Then the cloud finding the right cloud um, Then finding the clips that I wanted to show stuff like that that took a while um, but should have been like an hour max I created these lights these light spots and they just didn't work they just like they, they stayed black you know what long story short just didn't work out I it could have been a lot faster but at the end Aryan really liked this shot he even posted on Instagram that's when you know Aryan likes his shot he does nothing with Instagram and now he posted a screenshot of this Aryan hero epic shot nonetheless tracking went pretty decent and that was it for the entire video. So, sound effects real quick. A lot of sound designing went into some of the shots. For example, this one, I slowed down the uh, the alarm sound that everyone hates, but then when you slow down a sound, it doesn't sound good. For example, my own voice, I added some dynamic processing and graphic equalizer, basically some more clarity and a bit louder, a bit, a bit, a bit more of a voice over voice. And that was actually one of the first times I did that. I most of the time just rolled with just upping the volume a bit and maybe some tweaks, but most of the time that was it. Stop being sick. Ugh. And with sick, I mean I'm a fucking sick guy. That's a joke. Or for the key sound effect, I added some reverb, stuff like that. Every single whoosh that you can think of, for, for example, this shot. Get a whoosh. I get a, get a. There's a whoosh there. At least one, maybe even two. And I really love sound effects like this, like build up or. It all. St Those are two different sound effects. You have to build up and then you have to sort of slice. It all. St I could go really in depth in this or in color grading. Um, and I'm still learning here with every single video that I make, which I just love. I love doing this. I love motion graphics as well. It's a little bit more After Effects. Um, but I just, I hope you guys, maybe like some of you share the same passion and uh, maybe thought this video was really helpful or just really enjoyed this video. But for future videos, I would love to do a breakdown. I've been recording for an hour and like 15 minutes right now and I've been talking non-stop. Let me know, smash the link, subscribe, hit the bell, follow me on Instagram, at Stan Brownie. Follow Aryan on Instagram as well, he, he definitely deserves a lot of the credit I mean yes I did the editing yes I did love the recording actually everything because he was the like actor but without him I couldn't have done this so that's that's like thank you Aryan drink your water smash the leak subscribe it's empty I love you back <laughs>